Hi, Model Chili here. In this video I'm going to be taking a look inside Trumpeter's M1131 Striker Fire Support Vehicle in a 135 scale. Um, quite, uh, quite like the subject of the Strikers. I built an LAV3 Canadian version earlier this year and I just found the kits to be really enjoyable. It's a really nice kit to build up. So I've always sort of wanted to continue building the, the various LAV and Striker, which is based on the LAV, all the different versions and variants. And uh, yeah, I just find them to be really good, solid kits. They're quite simple to paint up, and then you've got the options to do a lot of weathering. So yeah, so um, let's go ahead and take a look inside the box. Okay, to start off with, we've got the instruction book. All fairly standard. Start off with the wheels, suspension, transmission. Now this is very similar to the LAV3. The lower hull and the suspension is practically the same. But only starts to differ once you get to the upper hull. Yeah, it's quite a lot of detailed instructions going on there. So that's all good. Moving on to the painting and, painting and marking guide. So it looks like we've just got one scheme. Just a simple light green colour. Colour call outs at the top. And marking placements. Now it doesn't tell you what squadron or units this belongs to, which is um, a bit of a shame, but I'm sure that can be researched. fairly simple. Now the reason I picked this out of the other strikers uh, based in the shop is it comes with three crew figures. So looking here quite detailed crew of multiple parts. The LAV3 didn't come with any crew figures so this is a bit of a bonus. So they're looking pretty good. Now I think there's just one hatch, but looking at the box art, looks like there's just one hatch, so it looks like you might have to choose between two figures and then put one in the driver's seat, I'm not sure. Yeah, just moving on, this is another unexpected bonus, which I didn't expect. Um, just a lot of crew storage, stowage, extra baggage, which you usually have to um, buy as aftermarket kits. And resin but it's all included in here so again it's not indicated on the box art or the side of the box or anything so you have to be quite a bit creative as to where to stick these then um, again do a bit of research get some some straps and strap them all up to the hull which should be quite fun yes. first main sprue so looks like we've got Part of the top deck there, smoke discharges, parts of the hull plating, parts of the turret there. So, typical of the uh, late trumpeter kits, very cleanly moulded, no flash, it's all pretty top quality stuff. Okay, moving on, so this looks familiar from the LAV3, just the wheels, and suspension, drive shafts. Again, all very clean, very detailed. So far, so good. Okay, moving on, so we've got the rear. Bulkhead near the main hatch, some more deck plating, driver's hatch, more hatches and doors. And this looks like one of the storage the storage racks on the side of the hull. More hull plates and covers.
it's all very detailed these um these vehicles there's a lot of small parts and they don't really look like much when they're on the sprue but once they get on the vehicle they all look part of the part of the job and some more hatches there and I think this is part of the um, a small crane mechanism it fits onto the top of the vehicle and here again this is very familiar from the LEV3 so front front's a bulkhead there more hull plates, some engine grills storage bins Here, yeah, so I guess that's the job. One of the um, windscreen, and there, there's the main crane that fits on top of the striker. And so, lower hull just like all the other parts, very clean, pretty much ready to build. Very little clean up needed. Finally the upper hole. It's got quite a few hole plates already bolted on. Some others that you have to attach separately. And the driver's hatch. The main area where the turret goes. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, so rubber tyres, if they're the same as the LAVs then there's no nod lines, there's no flash, it's all basically just ready to go and there's no clean up work required at all and we've got really nice Michelin markings on the side. Just get one without a reflection. So pretty, pretty highly detailed and yeah, nice and nice and soft. And yeah, moving on to the decals, so you can just see them in there. It's all very basic. Basically, just got some. Unit markings and a looks like a cougar, maybe some sort of cat. It's flammable signs for the jerry cans. And oh no, that's a mask for the windscreen, so you can apply that to the windscreen, paint it, and then take the mask off. And these, I think, are for straps. There's strips of tape that you peel off. Uh, clear parts of the windscreen and various lamps and headlights. So pretty straightforward. Uh, the photo etch. So this will be various um, parts of the hull. And the bins and grills. More straps. It's quite thick. And more on the other side. So it's part of the smoke discharge discharger um, structure there and a little bit of copper wire in the back in the back there just for the crane cable and the all important rations so a box of coke, a box of pepsi all very essential items obviously and food ration boxes no more boxes of water by the looks of it Looks like a bit of Arabic text on there. And here's the two halves of the hull together, just to give you a sort of rough idea of the size of the vehicle when it's done. It'll be slightly longer, but that's pretty much the bulk of it. So yeah, so that pretty much covers that. Um, 
another great kit from Trumpeter by the looks of it. Very clean, top quality, detailed mouldings, really nice extras, photo etch. It's just really nice to have some of those extra details without having to go out and pay more for them. So yeah, so I'm really, really looking forward to building this. I'll um, post updates on my channel as I go along and put photos on my blog. So uh, you can go check those out. I'll put a link in the description. And yeah, so hope that's been informative. And uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope to catch you next time. Take care.